Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I have had many, many requests to repeat a number that I did a long, long, long time ago. And uh, in fact, it was the first number I ever did in show business. It was when I was in the Coast Guard, Towers and Spires, the airplane number. And I'd like to do it for you tonight. You know, all these airplane pictures, they're all the same. You walk into the theater, you sit down. The first thing you hear is the music. Then, way, way, way back in the screen, you see a little speck. It's an airplane. And it gets bigger and, bigger and 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 bigger. And finally, it swoops up. And on the bottom of the wings is the title. Wings over bomb and schissel. <laughs> then we fade into a scene in the briefing room where Colonel Brack is making a speech to his men. Ah. Gentlemen, you all here to pick a volunteer on a very dangerous mission for one man bombing of bomb and schissel. Then we see camera close-ups of different faces, grim. Let him be there. Determined, let him be there. I'll kill him, I'll murder him. Revengeful. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> the nervous one we just saw is that of a kid. He's a young fellow, he just joined up. He's about 11 years old. <laughs> He's a major. <laughs> Finally, the whole thing is left up to the two aces of the squadron, Bill and Smiling Jim. But the colonel wishes them all good luck. Good luck, my boy. Get over the case. Get over the case. Over the case. Good luck, my boy. Get over the case. Get over the case. Fight! I'll stay here. Good luck, my boy. Good luck, Major. Now we see Bill and Smile and Jim in the locker room. Two handsome men. One with a mustache. And one without a mustache. <laughs> That's for the girls who like mustaches and the girls who don't like mustaches. <laughs> Smile and Jim speaks first. I'll take up the plane, Bill. You marry Jane. <laughs> Bill speaks now. Now, Jim. I'll take up the plane. You marry Jane. Jim goes, look, though. Out the window, see, out there quick. <laughs> it's better this way. Puts on his flying suit. <laughs> Zip out the door, out to the field that was plane. Contact. Switch on. Turn it over. It's a very simple plane. Anybody could fly it. Roger, 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 Roger. Somebody tell me who is Roger. Clear the field, please. Wind information. Wind northeast by southeast and westward across. Watch out for down there. South side of the field. Come across. Upstairs. Downstairs. Double around. I'm going straight ahead. Taking off now. It's a heavy plane, you know. <laughs> now the scene switches back to Bill lying unconscious on the locker room floor. He gets up. What happened? What happened? He knows what happened. Watch out the control tower. It's just the orderly. Where's Smile and Jim? Just to go for the plane, sir. Well, get me in contact with him right away. Yes, sir. Jim. Jim, you fool. Bring that plane on immediately, you hear me? Bring that plane on immediately, you fool, you. There's no propeller on it. <laughs> now the camera stays with Jim as he flies on to bomb and chisel. He's always looking down. Always looking down. But he never looks up, because that's where the Germans are. <laughs> Finally, we see the Germans fighting. The German planes always look so horrible. Always black with the big swastika and the skull and the crossbones. And the pilots, always with the black mustache, the square goggles and the black helmets. They look so mean. <laughs> but the Americans. <laughs> nice, clean-cut fellas. 
And the American planes, they always sound so cute. And the German planes. <laughs> Finally, the German squad leader looks down, he sees smiling Jimmy, says to his comrades, Achtung! Achtung! Drei Bäume stolz von Platz, drei Eben, drei Bäume, Alten, drei Bäume, Achtung, Ulm, und in der Kanzli, mit Alten, drei, wie viel Alten, drei, wie viel Alten, drei, wie viel Alten, drei, wie viel Let's go for the Führer. He looks up, sees the German planes coming down, he swoops his planes up. He's always smiling. Gets in position. Opens up. Two German planes go down. But still, the Germans come on. And the American. Jim gets in position again. Opens up. Two more German planes go down. He's in trouble. Now there are only two planes left in the sky. The German and the American. Jim gets in position again. Opens up. Jim's guns are jammed. The mother Jim swoops around, gets the back of Jim, opens up. Jim's tail is gone. Again the German comes in. Jim's right wing is gone. Again the German comes in. Jim's left wing is gone. No. No tail. No right wing, no left wing, no machine guns. He heads straight for the German. <laughs> now Jim is alone in the sky. <laughs> he looks down, he's over bomb, he just locks his bomb base, looks at the bomb site. There goes the factory. There goes the chemical works. There goes the ammunition dump. Five o'clock, Jim goes home. <laughs>